Well, I received a request to talk about a few problems in the review before your test tomorrow. So, oh dear, I have to go back here because I need my pens. Okay, so my request was to talk about five uh, pen mode pens. To talk about five, six, and then ten. So here we go. Let's do it. Okay, problem five, you are given an equation and you want to first make the line horizontal. Well, we know all horizontal lines are of the form y equals a constant. So for this particular problem, I want it to be y equals a constant. So in other words, this term I need to get rid of. So to get rid of it, let k be zero. Because if you have 3y plus 0 times x equals 4, well, that will be 0. So I have 3y equals 4. So y equals 4 thirds. So for part A, let k be 0. Now for part B, we want it to be parallel. So we know that parallel lines have the same slope. So since the equation given to us has a slope of 3, I want the equation 3y plus kx equals 4 to have the slope of 3. So I'm going to put it in slope-intercept form to be able to be able to identify the slope quicker. So I subtract kx, divide by 3. So negative k over 3x plus 4. So here is my slope, negative k over 3. And I want that term to have a slope of 3. So if I multiply by a negative, I get k over 3 equals negative 3. Multiply by 3, therefore k must be negative 9. Now the next problem is also talking about equations of lines. And this time we want one that's perpendicular. Well, we know that perpendicular slopes are opposite reciprocals. So if the current slope is a negative 3, then that means the perpendicular slope would be positive 1 third. So this is going to be the slope that I use, and I'm given this point. So since I'm given a point in the slope, I'm going to use point slope form. So I'm going to have y minus the value for the y-coordinate, which is 1. The slope is 1 third, x minus the coordinate, x-coordinate. There you go. And I leave it in point slope form, okay? And the last question was number 10. Now you have to write the equation for this piecewise function. Now I notice I have two pieces. So it's going to be f of x is going to equal two pieces. And then each of them will have a domain restricted domain for x. Well, the first piece here, if this is negative 1, this is 0, I know that it goes between negative 1 and 0. And since it's an open dot, it's going to be greater. And since the 0, 1 is a closed point, it's going to be less than or equal. Notice how I just defined that first. Take it a piece at a time. Now I could do the same thing for the restricted domain of the second piece. If I notice it starts at 0 and it ends at 1, 2, 3. Now, at 0, it's an open point, so it's just going to be less than. At 3, it's closed, so it'll be less than or equal. Okay, now I'm going to write the equation. Now, we notice here we have a linear equation. And we notice it's horizontal, so horizontal has the format of y equals a constant, so the constant is 1. So for this, it'll be 1. Now, actually, I'm looking at the next piece, and you know what? I think I was mistaken. This should not be one whole piece. I need to write an equation for that piece, the first piece, and then I need to write a second equation. So actually, I'm going to change my mind on this. Yes, a woman has a prerogative to change her mind. And I'm going to switch this to two separate pieces. And this first piece goes from 0 to 1. And it does not include 0, but it does include 1. And then the second piece goes from 1 to 3. And it's a closed dot, so, you know, either way you write it would be fine. There we go. Okay, now let's look at the first piece. Now, we know that the y-intercept is at 0. Can we figure out the slope? Well, yes, I can. I notice that it goes up 1 over 1. So the slope is 1. So therefore, the equation is y equals mx plus b y equals 1x plus b, which is just y equals x. Okay, so there's that piece. Now let's look at the next piece. So now this piece here 
it starts at over 1, up 1, and then it ends at over 3, up 0, right? Now, I'm not given this the y-intercept. Um, I'm given two points. So I'm going to first find the slope. So I'm going to subtract the y over the axis. So I get negative 1, half, that's the slope. And since I'm given a point, I'm going to use my point slope form. So I'm going to use this first point because it's easy. y minus 1 equals negative 1 half x minus 1. But since I have to write it in f of x form, I'm going to solve for y. So I'm going to add 1 to both sides. And then I'm going to distribute the um, negative 1 half. So I get negative 1 half x plus 1 half add a 1. So it would be negative 1 half x plus 1 and 1 half, which is 3 halves. So negative 1 half x plus 3 halves. So you can see I'm really testing you on your knowledge of lines. Can you find this, write an equation if you're given two points, if you're given a slope and a y-intercept, and such. I hope that helped.